Uh, look, it was uh, a very exciting match, to be honest, you know, uh, and uh, a very hard place to come and play. You know, the the, the way Perth plays, uh, it's very unique, you know, a lot, lot of direct passes um, and put teams under enormous amount of pressure. And, you know, we when we were preparing for this game, we were analysing them against Sydney FC, uh, analysing them against Melbourne Victory, and, and that's exactly what we've got here. You know, I think we are we were good enough to win the game. You know, but uh, you know it would be maybe a different game if uh, the, the the player did not sit, wasn't sent off. You know, so I think that that swing into our uh, our way, but uh, nevertheless, a very good challenge for us. What, what did you make of Leckie's goal? Oh, look. Like he just keep raising his standards, you know, he's just an unbelievable professional um, and uh, I think he's playing, you know, I think the best football of his career, you know, and uh, it's uh, such a pleasure to have him play for us and, uh, you know, uh, the sky is limit for him what he can achieve. You're, you're eight points clear now, top of the table, just from a coach's perspective, what, what does that feel like and what are the goals from this point on? Uh, look, we just need to keep going, you know, uh, the moment you stop improving, you know, you are going to get hurt. Uh, we got a fantastic bunch of players and, and they all want to be challenged and they all want to get better. Um, and, you know, next week it's uh, a new challenge for us at home uh, at, at, in Melbourne against Melbourne Victory. So it's, it's a big derby, you know, we, we remember what happened last time we played them, so it's going to be... Uh, you know, continuation of from that game, um, and uh, you know, it's going to be quite interesting. How do you handle that? Because, as you mentioned, there's going to be a lot of talk about what happened last time. As a coach, how do you handle that leading into this game? Uh, look, we're going to probably look very carefully on those uh, 20, 20 odd minutes that we played, and you know what went uh, right, and, and you know what we did. Obviously, since then they've changed the way they are playing. You know, they changed their, their their structure. So you know, it's going to be interesting. I think they they sign several new players, so it's going to be interesting to see how they go tomorrow, and then uh, you know, analyze our 20 minutes plus tomorrow's game and uh, start preparing ourselves. I think we got one day extra uh, uh, b before you know before the game, so we could maybe have a little bit of rest. But saying that, this trip is very very tough. Uh, to come here and, uh, you know, you lose several hours, you know, you lose sleep. So it's going to be a challenging week, 100%. What, what about the external stuff leading into next week? Obviously, all the talk's going to be about what happened last time. How do you handle that? Uh, look, we, we put that uh, aside a uh, long time ago. You know, we, we don't talk about that anymore. Um, you know, whatever happened that 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 game um, is not going to happen again, and uh, you know, there's no point of, uh, of talking about it. Um, all, all what we can do is to go out and perform and, and do our best, and uh, you know, it's going to be a cracking game, and hopefully, we can get a lot of supporters to come and watch. Someone like Lava obviously had that terrible incident happen to him last time. Do you, do you need to have a special chat to him, and, and how do you think? Uh, he is uh, he's fantastic from from that point of view. You know, n nothing really uh, bothers him, so I don't think there's going to be any problems with him. But obviously, we will talk to him and see if, if there is something that you know we need to address. But from from experience, from la last time experience, uh, there won't be too much that we need to do, especially just with him. Yes, yes, look, uh, you know, he, he's been with us for, for many, many years in academy and I had him as a technical director um, and, uh, you know, you could see that he's going to be smashing player um, and I think since I took over, um, he has been fantastic and, you know, um, he's uh, such a good young talent. Uh, and I hope that, you know, he he gets called for the national team because I think he, he can really uh, 
shake up that left fullback position, you know, with, with his speed and, and, you know, his directness and his dribblings and his creativity, you know. So I hope the Graham Arnold will bring him in, just at least just to have a good look at him. Uh, look, uh, I've been at the club for five years, and uh, you know every every job that you do at such a big club, it's you you know honoured to do it. But to be coaching uh, this brilliant bunch of players, it's just I think every every coach's dream. So I'm living my dream right now at the moment. So you know I can't ask for much better. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs>